Hello sustainable growers, welcome in this video. Today we're going to talk about a specific factor to calculate on your fish. It's the condition factor, it's also known as the K factor. So if you are keeping fish in aquaponics, you probably enjoy it, you enjoy seeing your fish growing. Uh, but what is even more enjoyable is to know, to be able to calculate that we are doing the right thing and to make sure the fish are growing in the best conditions. So today we're going to talk about the K factor or the factor of condition of your fish, which, which is going to allow us to understand if our fish are growing in good conditions or if they are stressed or if there is something that we need to change in our system. So before talking about the specific factor, I just want to talk about the different stress that you can have, the different problems that you can have in your system without being completely aware. But you may identify today that there are some areas for improvement in your aquaponic system. So the point number one is, are you feeding your fish appropriately? So you know that when you feed your fish, they eat the food and they grow. Uh, but sometimes in aquaponics you got a lot of fish and some of them are a bit smaller than the others and they don't have access to the food. So when you feed your fish you need to make sure that you, you send the food everywhere on the surface of the, of the water, on the, of the fish tank and all the fish have access to enough fish food. If it's not the case, some of them are not going to grow well and they're going to be long and very slim. Basically they're going to be starving. They may remain alive, but they are not going to grow well and you're going to see the shape of the fish is going to be very long and very thin. The second factor is if you have some disease on your fish or parasites. Sometimes you don't see it, but the fish have some parasites and the parasites are using a lot of energy from the fish. And if the fish are very affected, they may not eat because if they, if they don't feel wet, they are not eat. So same thing, same profile, your fish are going to be very long and very thin. And another stress that your fish can have is if you got big fish that are kept in a very small fish tank. So if you got a big difference, I mean, if, if the fish tank is not adapted to the fish, if the fish can't really swim, swim properly and easily into the tank, then the size and the shape of their body is going to be affected by this specific uh, fish tank. And most of the time you can see that the fish are going to be quite compact. So they're going to be short in terms of length and quite high and quite large. So basically the fish are continuing to grow and to gain weight, but not in length. The length is limited, so you're going to see that the fish are going to be, look very tough, very strong, but actually the, this is not good for them. They, they're going to be basically limited into the length of their body. So the fish farmers were really aware of this, of the problem, and they understood that there was a link between the shape of the body and the conditions that they were grown. And they wanted to be able to, to uh, basically compare different fish uh, based on the shape of the body. So Mr. Fulton put in place this specific uh, factor, the K factor, uh, which is also known as the condition factor of the fish, where basically with a simple calculation that is in the bottom, uh, in the description of this video, uh, you are able to basically, you measure first the length of the fish and the weight of the fish, and by doing a ratio, you obtain the K factor. So the K factor is going to be a number close to one. And uh, if it's very low, it means that your fish is, is, not, is not fat enough. So basically it's not fed properly or you got a disease problem as I, I was uh, talking about just before. So basically a K number that is around 0 0.9, 0 0.8 is very bad, it means that your fish is not grown in good conditions. Here I'm talking about fish such as trout. So trout is one of the species that has been the most um, studied. So that's why uh, most of the K factors that I'm going to give you today are for trout. But if you have other species of fish, you can use the K factor as well. Simply you can't compare the numbers with the number for the trout. You have to compare it to uh, your own spaces, right? So you can find k-factor maybe on some research, otherwise you can just calculate your k-factor and compare it from that from year to year, comparing, comparing the number with other friends of you that are also growing fish in aquaponics, or comparing the k-factor of one fish tank to another. As I was saying, trout that are uh, not fed enough, they're going to uh, present a K factor that is very low, around 0 0.8, 0 0.9 to 1. A trout that is kept in good conditions is going to have a K factor around uh, 1.2. So 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 is good. 
a trout that is grown in really, really well conditions is going to have a K factor that is going to be around 1.5, 1.6. But then a trout that is kept in a, in a fish tank that is too small is going to be very, very compact and very big. And the shape of the body is not going to be nice. You know, it's going to have a S shape. So you, you see, instead of having a nice straight line, you know, the, 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 the colon bone, the, basically the pin bone, it's going to have this very, very strange shape. And the, the trout uh, is going to present a K, fac a K number or a condition number of two you know when you reach 1.7 1.92 it means that the fish is not grown in good condition and it means that you need you your fish tank is not adapted to the specific species of fish so either you harvest your fish before before they start to have the, to develop this problem have either you change the species of fish or you change your fish tank to have a fish tank that is more adapted to the size of your fish so you see that the k factor can be interesting uh, if you want to compare the, the condition of your fish to other other type of fish uh, but always stay into the same spaces it's normally very best for aquaculture but if you are growing trout you can still compare your number to the numbers i just gave you it's going to give you a really good indication to know if you are doing the right thing or if your fish are stressed and not grown in the best conditions there is another factor that is very easy to have a look at it's the size of the eye of your fish so you know that the fish uh, when they are stressed they stop growing their body so basically the body can continue to grow a bit but uh, if they are limited in terms of food the energy is going to be used for the metabolism of their body you know the internal metabolism and then for the energy the last priority is the growth right so first the fish is trying to stay alive and then if you go, he's got enough energy he's going to grow but one of the organs has got priority over the growth is the eyes so the eyes of the fish are always growing even if the fish hasn't got enough food they're going to find enough food for the eyes because the eyes are very important so when you go to buy your fish have a look at the size of the eyes you know sometimes it's difficult to make the difference between an old fish that has been kept in poor conditions and a very young fish that has been grown in good conditions but when you buy your fish you want to buy young fish that are be grown in good conditions the old fish are the ones you're going to have some problems with you know they're going to fall sick very easily they don't, they're not going to basically um, show their full potential so the way to recognize them is to look at the size of the eyes if you see fish with a small head and a big eye that means they, they are old and they haven't been kept in the good conditions if the size of the eyes is in proportion with the head it means everything is normal and the fish has been grown in good condition so you can go for this fish i hope you find this video interesting if you are new to aquaponics don't forget to, to get a free guide to breed your own aquaponics setup it's in the description of this video just below and it's going to give you all the step-by-step -step, uh, information to breed your own aquaponics but also the critical information the critical limits and ratio to respect in aquaponics if you are new to this channel Channel, please subscribe to the channel you're gonna get all the new tips and don't forget to give a like to the video if you enjoyed it see you in the next video bye bye don't forget to get your free gift from this screen you can also leave me a comment below the video subscribe to the channel and see my last video I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics have a good crop